Hello everyone. We've all seen videos of flat earthers claiming that if Earth were a globe, airplanes would fly off into space. This, of course, is nonsense. Um, what they seem to forget is some basic physics. There are four forces working on a plane, and there's one important force working on the air surrounding the plane. Um, you have thrust moving the airplane forward, and by doing so, the wings will create lift. This is caused due to the shape of the wing, making the air underneath it more dense and the air going over the top of it less dense. Now, um, as the plane uh, moves forward, um, the air surrounding it will cause a low pressure field behind it. As the surrounding air is rushing in that low air pressure field, um, it creates suction on the plane, which is called drag. The fourth force pulling on the airplane is gravity. Um, gravity also pulls the air surrounding the airplane down to the ground, which is why the air is most dense on ground level and gets less and less dense the higher you go. Now, I made a Microsoft Paint image. Um, I won't make any excuses for using Microsoft Paint. Um, in this picture, you see the Earth as a globe surrounded by layers of air. The air closest to the surface is most dense. Um, and the higher you go, the less dense it becomes. That goes gradually, and I can't draw that in MS Paint, so I have only a few layers. Um, anyway, um, when an airplane takes off, the wings create more lift than needed to stay in the dense air so the plane will gain altitude. But as it does, the air gets less and less dense and the wings will create less and less lift because the air isn't dense enough to support the airplane and all its weight. Now, at a constant speed, so let's say 500 miles per hour, the wings create an air pressure underneath it that is high enough to keep the airplane with all its high, uh, weight floating on a level of air, so let's say 30,000 feet. At sea level, the pressure is about 101 kilopascals, and at about 30,000 feet, it's uh, 26.4 kilopascals, so the air is less dense. Now, let's say a Boeing 747-400 at a certain uh, point in time weighs 550,000 pounds. At 500 miles per hour, the wings will create enough lift to carry 550,000 pounds of weight on air with a pressure of 26.4 kilopascals. Now, I made a calculation and I could be off with my units and I could be off with my uh, numbers, but the principle will be correct. So just humor me and um, just look at the uh, principle. If you feel the need to correct me, uh, someone like Flat Earth Math could check and correct me if he wants to. Um, but the principle I use should be the right one. Okay. So the air pressure at 30,000 feet is 26.4 kilopascals, um, and one pascal is one newton per square meter. Now the weight of a Boeing 747-400 is about 500,000 pounds at a certain moment in time. Um, so the total downward force would be 2,446,521 newtons. Now, I found the um, specs of a 747-400, and the wing area is 541.2 square meters. So when you divide the downward force by the wing surface, you get... Uh, a downward force of 4520.5 newtons per square meter. Newtons per square meter is also the force of uh, the pressure of Pascal. Okay, so the airplane to stay at 30,000 feet needs to compensate for the air pressure itself, 26.4 kilopascals, and it needs to compensate for the force pulling the airplane to the surface which is 4.5 kilopascals. So the pressure needed um, 
under the wings per square meter is 30.9 kilopascals. Um, it's just that simple. To stay um, at that altitude of 30,000 feet, following the curvature of the Earth, uh, or basically the airplane is following the layer of air with that pressure, uh, it needs to stay at a constant speed. So it's as simple as this. Airplanes don't fly into space because they are bound by the level of uh, air pressure at a certain speed. As they slow down, the wings will produce less pressure and the airplane will descend until a point where they balance out again. And then they will stay at that altitude at that level of air or, or level of air pressure. It doesn't get more simple than this. Thanks for watching.